The first teaser for Black Widow dropped in the middle of the night, so let's do this. I used to have nothing. And then I got this job. This family. But nothing lasts forever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, okay. but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're going to talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? It's good to see you too, sis. What brings you home? We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. <laughs> Still fits. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Before I give you my take on it, go ahead and tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. Also, if you want more Marvel content from me, check out this playlist up above. It's got all of my best MCU rankings. If you enjoy my Marvel thoughts, that's the place to check things out. I'm gonna watch it one more time and then I'm gonna start talking. All right, so naturally as an MCU fan, I was very curious about this movie for all the obvious reasons as it's our next MCU film and it's the first of phase four and simply because it's a prequel, it's a movie about a character that, spoiler alert, died in one of the recent MCU films. So my curiosity was kind of all over the place, and it's a character that inherently would be a different type of film. So was very excited to get my first look at this one. And to that point, the movie feels very different in a lot of different ways. Uh, there's a lot of Jason Bourne inside of this trailer from the we gotta go back to find out what really happened. Even the the color scheme, the nature of some of these shots as she's kind of walking through uh, you know, these apartments and then she gets on a motorcycle. These are shots that feel like they're pulled directly out of Jason Bourne movies. And then you have you know, very cool fight sequences inside of them, very Jason Bourne. It's not the shaky cam stuff of Jason Bourne, but a bunch of things were reminiscent, which is a thing that makes sense for this, for her character to have a Jason Bourne flavor to her movie. Then we got some new people being added into the mix. Uh, Florence Pugh being one of the big ones. Like she's like really taking off this year. Um, had a really solid set of um, movies that hit niche audiences this year and then off to the MCU next year, which is a nice little ramp up to kind of springboard herself up to the A-list. But um, I mean, she was holding her own right up there with uh, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow with the fight scenes, the acts, all that fun stuff. And then I, early on, you see, I guess that was a DH Thunderbolt Ross, what it looked like to me. I went back and even scrolled back to it and he, his face looked awfully smooth for a, a old the actor. So I think he, they, they de-aged him a little bit. So um, even kind of putting prequel inside a prequel and tying him in theoretically into the mix. Of course, as you get later into it, David Harbour shows up and for the first, what, minute, 40 seconds of this trailer is like, man, they're going real serious. They haven't like cracked a joke yet. And I guess it's serious spy one and we're 
you know, go, <laughs> going back with his dead characters. So I guess it's supposed to be more serious. And like, but are they going to have any of the MCU sort of levity in here? And then he shows up and immediately like, oh, okay, yeah, we're we're making fat jokes. And he's he's putting on the suit and it's pretty obvious. Like, oh, yeah, it's just it's quite fit the way he probably used to. So, yeah, we are kind of having some fun with all of that. But um, so um, I thought that was kind of a nice little touch. And it's one of those ones that... I'm wondering how people respond because I could see a lot of people taking that was just too far. Um, you just even take the end game discussion about what they did with Thor and everything. We'll, we'll kind of have a little bit of that too because it seems like, you know, in the span of three movies, two different characters that were, were playing the fat joke, like time has passed and they're fat. Maybe a little bit repetition inside of that, but we'll see how this one plays out inside of the film. And then I guess kind of some final thoughts on it is that, you know, as I was watching it, it really didn't feel like any other MCU movies that we've got before. You know, the closest, of course, would be I don't know, Winter Soldier because that one had the political thriller aspect to it. But this one very much, as I said, has that Jason Bourne vibe to it that is much more spy action thriller, not really on the political side. And that's what this one really feels had that those sorts of flavors to it. But what the MCU does really well is they find that that overlap between let's do something different and something that still has a lot of sameness to it. And so and that's kind of where you have a safe intersection where something becomes interesting, where it's just different enough where you're like, OK, we're doing something here that we haven't done before, seeing this world in a new, different way, doing different types of storytelling, team up type stuff here, while at the same time, it definitely has the MCU vibe to it with a character that we've known and spent a lot of time with. Eventually, we do get the MCU quips. So, a uh, nice mix of all of it. Of course, I, I'm very excited to see this movie because, you know, I love the MCU. And this trailer did nothing but get me more excited to see it. I love, I have been saying it, I don't know if I've been saying it as more of a negative to Jason Bourne stuff, but I haven't meant it that way. If it sounded that way, I'm just drawing a comparison. The idea of blending MCU, Black Widow, and Jason Bourne in a blender together and giving us that movie. I'm intrigued to see that. So, um, all positive for me, essentially. I, don't, I can't think of anything that's specific. I was like, I'm not so sure about that. I'm just excited to see it. Tell me what you thought down below in the content. <laughs> Tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. If you want more content like this, check out that playlist right over there with all of my best MCU rankings. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.